Hi, I'm Dempsey Pawai, and this week I'm reviewing... Now before we start off, as always, I just want to take a quick second to remind you guys to make sure you hit that like button if you like today's video, and if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well for more new movie-related content weekly. But, without further ado, let's jump into today's film. Ava was directed by Tate Taylor and stars Jessica Chastain as an assassin who, after several years, returns to her hometown. There, not only must she battle her personal demons, but she's also got to evade other assassins out to collect a bounty put on her head. The film also features John Malkovich, Common, Gina Davis, and Colin Farrell. And since the release of the John Wick films and even Atomic Blonde, I have to say I've never seen a film want to be a part of that subgenre so badly. Up until now. Unlike all of those films though, this one is nowhere near as good, and in terms of action, it's pretty bland. All of the fight scenes are either poorly choreographed, poorly edited, and or just plain old uninteresting. We see the same fights play out over and over and over again, and there are only so many times that you can watch the same moves, like just people wrestling guns out of each other's hands, before you start to say to yourself, hey, like, were these people never trained for any other scenario? In regards to the editing especially, though, there are too many quick cuts whenever there's any action going on, and none of the shots or even the punches seem to connect properly. There's actually this fight scene with John Malkovich where I'm pretty sure he's thrown inside of a house, but right when we see him go through the doors, the next shot after that is him back outside. Yeah. The film is very inconsistent and dizzying in that regard. And I know it's probably sounding like there's a ton of action in this movie, but there isn't even that. In fact, for a film that most would probably categorize, or the film that probably hopes it's categorized as an action thriller, there isn't much action or really many thrills. And I'm not saying that every action film needs to have action from beginning to end. I know I used the John Wick films as an example earlier, but they're just a really great example of that done on an excellent level. This film, more than anything, feels like a character-driven drama with action sprinkled throughout it. But even if it were just that, it's still too inconsistent to be effective. You can clearly tell what kind of film it wants to be, but it's very apparent that neither Taylor or anybody else involved with this film knows how to make it flow or make it work. There are also a lot of random plot twists and even subjects that are discussed that really lead nowhere and are never mentioned again. For instance, towards the end of the film, it's revealed that Ava's mom, played by Gina Davis, has some form of OCD. Yet, prior to that, at least as far as I can remember, it's never even hinted at. It's this very odd reveal that literally has nothing to do with anything else that happens in this film whatsoever. Nobody wants to help me, and I'm dying. You're not dying, Mom. I got the results of the test back. I definitely have breast cancer. Similarly, there's this plot twist involving Common's character, who happens to be a former love interest of Ava's, where it's revealed that he has a huge gambling addiction. But it feels kind of forced in the way that it really only serves the purpose to give Ava a secondary antagonist in the film, uh, because eventually there's this subplot between her and the loan shark that he owes money to, and she eventually has to face off against her. It's like this whole thing. This film veers off from what I believe to be its central plot quite a bit, almost to the point where you kind of forget what the hell's happening and you, halfway through, just kind of stop caring. Simply put, it's a huge mess. Now, honestly, Jessica Chastain gives a pretty decent performance here, but compared to everything that she's done prior to this, she's basically just phoning it in. Colin Farrell is also just okay in this. He plays the film's main antagonist, however, it feels like he's just playing an evil version of his real life self. I mean, that's the best way that I could describe it anyway. Uh, my favorite performance hands down though had to be Gina Davis's, and that's because of all the other actors, it feels like she's the only one genuinely trying to make the material work. Unfortunately, she's only in the film for about 10 minutes, give or take, so she's totally wasted. Then again, no amount of screen time from any actor can really save this film. Not only is Ava bad, 
but it's too generic for the genre that it aims for. And at a time where action films consistently raise the bar higher and higher, it feels like a really low blow. And for that, I'm going to give this film one star. This is business. Guys, thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to view this video. It really does mean the world to me. And once again, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well for more new movie-related content weekly. Now, if you happen to see this movie, if you loved it, if you hated it, let me know what you thought about it down below in the comment section. I look forward to reading and responding to all of your comments. But that's pretty much all the time that I have for you guys today. So, as always, be on the lookout for more new content. I have a lot of new stuff that I'm very excited to share with you in the coming weeks. In fact... Some of it isn't entirely finished, so I should probably get back to work. Until next time, I'm Dempsey Pullot. Take care.